Greetings and peace. Hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. Now, the title of today's uh, video will be The Difference Between Reality and Social Media. Now, a lot of people <laughs> get confused on the aspect of how the person is on social media. That's how they are in real life, too. Now, we, we see people thinking that those that have a positive social media presence means that they have a perfect life. That's not true. Everyone has a issues and things that they need to deal with in their life. And nobody's life is perfect. Even those that are rich, they have issues that they need to deal with. It's about finding that peace internally within you and differentiating that reality between real life and social media. Now, there were times that I had to uh, turn my social media off for, after high school, I did it for like four years between 2011 and 2015 and then um, with recent events like uh, in 2018 2017 six months six months and once social media is turned off you'll maybe have like four or five maximum six people from your uh, friends list that might give, check up on you that have your con that cared enough to have your contact info so just differentiate that yeah you might have 1500 2000 friends on Facebook but when it really comes down to you actually needing somebody's help, that's very few. And those people already have your information to stay in touch with you anyway. And also, don't um, don't feel offended by anyone. Anyone that posts anything sublim subliminal towards you or tries to rile you up with anything. Like, I know a lot of people that, like, that you usually post, like, anti-Islamic stuff or post memes that thinking that it might piss me off, but... You know, the, the beautiful thing about this is you just turn it around and flip it on them. Because I know if I saw them face to face, then they wouldn't say that to me. So social media is a uh, blessing and a curse in, in disguise at the same time. Because it gets people to reveal their true feelings in a way. It's, it's, it's designed that way to get you to spend a lot of time on it. And to get you to uh, reveal your true feelings. Because I know those people would not say that to my face. And that's why I make these videos so you hear me speaking and seeing me directly, not you know behind a some kind of a illusion. And I encourage people, whoever tried to you know get to know me, to meet me in person, because there's a different perception that you might have on social media, and there's different perception of one you see in real life. I know a lot of people as well who who are very inspirational on social media. But in real life, they're not good people. They, they laugh at others. They put others down. They have uh, bad intentions towards others. They're like undercover haters. So, a lot, you know, a subsection of this video is that I am nice. I don't pretend to be nice. The difference between reality and social media. You got to know that too. Don't let anybody get under your skin. This whole thing is an illusion. People are cutting off family and friends left and right over recent events, over people that don't even care about you and don't even know what's going on in your community, don't even know your name. So please, you learn, learn to see the difference between social media and reality. Just because somebody's life might be perfect or supposedly, you know, they're good people on social media doesn't mean that's what they are in real life. Because when you see somebody face to face, that's when you know who's who and what's what and that's that's the thing that's absolutely how it is you must always be in a structure of pure love pure unity and pure happiness not fear or division of any kind and in my life there are many individuals that I honored to the best of my ability as best as I could um, whether in my internal circle or external circle and some of them turned out to be, you know, undercover haters. So that doesn't mean that just because of them or them posting subliminal memes, even though they might not have the courage to tag me and it doesn't mean I stop being who I am. We have to keep being who we are in our truth and stand on your square and stand on your truth. And you will always be blessed for that. I always had good intentions for others and my life is beautiful. I have no complaints. The Almighty, in whichever way you perceive God or the divinity, will return that to you times ten. 
but if you pretend to be one person on one platform and are totally something in real life then there's a price to pay for that too because that's deception and we must not you we must be better than that so you just have to continue to choose love not fear know the difference between these things and know what to take seriously and what not to take seriously and to know if I turned this off today, who would really stay in touch with me? So I made this at the request of one of my friends who wanted me to address this topic. So I hope you got something out of it. So take care and much blessings to you and yours.